On the shores of the Mediterranean, a pharaonic city was built, an engineering feat ahead of its time that made Palestine the center of the Eastern Roman Empire. Only Rome outdid Caesarea Maritima. Until then, all that existed in this place was a small Phoenician port that Herod the Great transformed into a city of more than 125,000 inhabitants. Herodes. Herod received this place from Caesar Augustus and named it Caesarea in honor of him. It was built in 22 AD and included a very important port. It was the highlight of the site because it was a port in the water, something completely new at the time. Shortly after, the city became the civil and military capital of the Roman province of Judea. It was also the home to the Roman prefect and thus Pontius Pilate. These remains verify that Caesarea was his home. Each year at Easter, the governor traveled to Jerusalem. It was there that Pilate met Jesus and sentenced him. In Caesarea, they found a piece of stone inscribed with Pilate's name, which indicates Pilate lived here. There are also other things here related to the Bible. Cornelius, the centurion who went to Jaffa and met St. Peter and became the first pagan to be converted, left from Caesarea. Paul was also imprisoned here. St. Peter built the first church in Caesarea after baptizing Cornelius. St. Paul also spent two years in prison in Herod's palace before later being brought to Rome. The Bible makes numerous references to Caesarea Maritima, a site which also draws many Christian pilgrimages today, following the footsteps of the faith's early years. <laughs> The city declined in later centuries. It's believed to have been hit by various earthquakes that seriously damaged the port and consequently commerce. This caused the slow decline of what was once a thriving modern city in the first century.